Hi everyone, this is an EU4 speedrun where I form Pomerania in 1 year, 6 months, and 28 days. There is no previous record, so this video is meant to serve more as a benchmark for future speedruns in this category. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like and subscribe for more content in the future and join the Discord. The link is in the description. First, I revoke my core on Ukermark and set Wolgas as a rival. Then I seize and sell Crownland. Next, I take the estate privileges for monthly monarch points and advisor discounts, as well as increased levies and patronage of the arts. Then I hire a military advisor, ideally a morale guy. A spy network guy is a must and you don't even need an admin advisor. Then I recruit generals and an admiral. Unfortunately, I don't get any siege guys. Then I improve relations with Poland, which isn't really necessary. And start spying a wall gas. I then recruit two infantry regiments. Now it's just a matter of waiting for the spy network and wall gas to get to 30. So let me explain my strategy and tell you how Pomerania can be formed in less than two months. To form Pomerania, you need to own or have a subject own all the provinces in the two areas that make up Pomerania. There are seven provinces here in total with Wolgast, owning five, and Stenant owning two. The most important thing, however, is that you don't need to core these provinces. You don't need to even own them. If I vassalize Wolgast, I can also take the decision, and the two nations will be merged into Pomerania. So, that out the way, let me explain why I picked Stenant. The seemingly weaker of the two instead of Wolgas. The reason is that Stettin has a level 3 fort, can ally Poland easily, and has more ships than Wolgas, while Wolgas has a level 1 fort and has a harder time getting allies. This is very important, as you'll see in just a bit. Because they have a level 1 fort and one less ship than me, I will be able to defeat their navy, naval barrage or fort, which wouldn't be possible the other way around as Wolgast doesn't have enough ships to barrage a level 3 fort in Stettin. After that, I can assault the fort and take it in less than a month. This is a part of why Pomerania can be formed in less than 2 months starting at Stettin. Here is the other part, which for me was impossible to get even after I restarted around 50 times. Remember how I revoked my core in Brandenburg? This is because the nobility sometimes gives you an agenda to conquer provinces around you. In Stettin's case, they also give you an agenda to reconquer your core in Brandenburg. By revoking that core, it's possible to make them give you claims on Wolgast provinces, but like I said, this never happened to me. If you get this agenda, and Wolgast doesn't have an ally by December 11, 1444, which sometimes does happen, you can declare a war after just one month. After that, you barrage your fort with your ships, assault the fort, and fully siege them and stack wipe them in one more month. After that, you can fully annex them and you won't even trigger a coalition since all the provinces amount to 48 aggressive expansion. On the very next day after you full annex or vassalize wool gas, you can form Pomerania. Because like I said, you don't even need a quarter promises. Unfortunately, I was never this lucky. But maybe you will be, so why not give it a shot? In the meantime, I'm getting some random allies and arranging my armies. Nothing really important. Now let's get into conditions that are needed for my strategy. First, you need to have a spy network advisor. Second, Wolgas must have either no allies, which does happen, but very rarely. Usually when they ally Lithuania and then Lithuania gets peed by Poland or they must have a very weak ally that is close and has a level 1 fort. The most ideal ally they can have is Saxe-Lundenburg, because they are close, have a level 1 fort, 
and have no navy, which is very important because you can't be two navies by yourself and no one will help you fight wall gas. If they allied Denmark or Burgundy, you need to restart because they are too strong. If they ally Lundberg, Friesland, or Devonian Order, you need to restart because they are too far away. If they ally Brunswick or Magdeburg, you need to restart because they have level 3 forts. Now that you know how you can form Pomerania with my strategy and the most ideal strategy, it's time to get back to the run. Here, I'm taking out loans in order to get a couple of Merc stacks since my spy network is close to finishing. This is my first mistake since I should have recruited them earlier. Ideally, around the time the spy network is at 15%. Now I lay a claim on Wolgast and declare war. I send 1k infantry stacks to Kohlberg and Stolp, and the two Merc stacks and my main army to Wolgast. My ships won the initial battle, so now I barrage your fort and assault it. I do win the siege, but obviously my morale is zero since I recruited the mercs too late. So the Wolgast armies attacks me and defeats me. Lots a lot of time here. This is my second mistake, which is basically derived from the first one. Now I'm waiting for my morale to tick up just a bit so I can attack them. I'm not consolidating because I'm not at combat with anyway. If you're using the same strat that I am, remember to recruit your mercs earlier and leave one stack behind to not assault, so you can reinforce your drained armies when Wolgas comes to fight you. I just stacked wipe them so it's time to fully siege them. Stack wipe sacks and lumber and go stand in their capital. I stack white them and go on to start sieging their capital. I go check the peace deal screen and see that Wolgas will accept full annexation. So I send a request. The decision notification pops up and I formed Pomerania on June 8th, 1446. In conclusion, I wanted to get back into speed running and I thought to myself, why not a chill Pomerania run? Even though it's not very prestigious, I was definitely wrong on that. The decision requirements are pretty easy, but so much RNG is involved. And like I explained, it could even be done in two months if you get that stage agenda. Either way, I'm happy with it. If you want to try and beat this record, or speedrun EU4 and other categories, you can check out the leaderboards and rules under speedrun.com slash EU4, where I currently hold the official records for reforming Japan and dismantling the HRE. And you can check out the EU4 speedrunning discord. 
Both links will be in the description. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like and subscribing and join the Discord. The link is in the description. I'll see you next time for some more EU4 content.